And Danville city leaders speak out tonight about combating violent crime. The city manager and the police chief gave a special presentation to city council. This after there were three homicides in the River City last week alone. There's been seven homicides so far this year. That's two more than this time last year. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstett was at tonight's meeting and he explains how leaders want police and the community to take action. We cannot arrest our way out of this problem. That was the message from Danville's police chief tonight, emphasizing the need for citizens to take steps in their homes and their neighborhoods to help the police department reduce gang activity and, as a result, reduce violent crime. According to the chief, at least four of this year's seven homicides are believed to be gang-related. If the attraction to join in a gang is not eliminated by a concerted community effort, our success and suppression will be short-lived. Councilman Lee Vogler echoed the chief's plea for citizens to take responsibility for the problem. We will never reach our full potential as long as we continue to lose our young people in this way. All four of last week's homicide victims were under 25. Chief Philip Broadfoot explained that the FBI, ATF, and U.S. Marshals Service have assigned officers to help the police department combat gang activity. He also said state police have assigned five officers to patrol the city full-time during the summer. City manager Ken Larking highlighted activities in the city and encouraged people to get their kids involved in them so the kids are not on the streets where they're most susceptible to gang activity. If you can't afford it, there are scholarships available for those who need it. He also stressed the need for people to take the phrase, see something, say something seriously. In Danville, Colter Anstat, WSLS 10.